lightly breaded Arby's Fish Filet Sandwich, now just 99 cents through April 1st. Taste the Arby's difference and save. We can't afford the time or the money to take chances on car repair. But we found a tire store that has great automotive service. It's Big O's Extra Care. Big O Tires Extra Care services include professional brake service, alignments, front end repairs, plus shocks and struts. And Big O's Extra Care service warranties are honored at over 260 Big O stores in 15 states. The warranties are nice, but more important, they did the job right the first time. Dallas, at a special time, Saturday at 11.35. It's the 50th NCAA Basketball Championship. Brought to you in part by Rawlings Sporting Goods, maker of the official ball of the NCAA Basketball Championships. And by Pizza Hut, home of America's favorite pan pizza. Tonight's exciting NCAA basketball here on WHAS-TV is sponsored by Druthers Restaurants. No place else feels like Druthers. Riverfront Coliseum in Cincinnati. It's the Southern Jaguars against the Kentucky Wildcats. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Cincinnati for this Southeast Region opening round action in the NCAA tournament. Tom Hammond and Mike Pratt ready to bring you the game between Kentucky and Southern. Mike, I know a lot of folks have seen Kentucky on television many times, but Southern will be a new experience, and they're an exciting team to watch. They really are, Tom. They scored 90 or more 18 times. They scored 100 or more 13 times. They could put some numbers on the board very, very quickly. Southern won 24 games during the season. They were the Southwest Athletic Conference regular season and tournament champions. What do they have to do to win this game to upset Kentucky tonight? Well, they've got to come out shooting. They've done that all year. They can't change the game plan now. They've got to eliminate any second shots by Kentucky. Kentucky is a bigger team. They can't give up the second shots. They must utilize that full court pressure to take them to the offensive end of the court. Kentucky, the second seeded team in the Southeast. They've won 25 times, ranked sixth in the nation, champions in the regular season and the tournament in the Southeastern Conference. What are their keys to victory tonight? Well, first of all, they must be into the game. Remember Austin P. Illinois last year. They must utilize their size advantage in the paint. They must own the paint. And last, they must make Southern play defense longer than they really want. All right, the winner of this game will move on to meet Maryland on the second round in Sunday here in Cincinnati. It's Kentucky against Southern. We'll be back with the starting lineups right after this. We make it fast. We have time for lunch. We make it hot. It's going to be hot, right? And we make it great. Great. Making it fast. Making it hot. Giving it everything we've got. Making your style. Give me a smile. Slicing it spicy, and cheese and pleasing. At Pizza Hut, we go all out to make it fast, hot, and delicious. Making it happen. Making your taste. Pizza Hut. The guys around the office think I bought a Buick Regal because it's so beautifully designed and so comfortable. And they're right. But they also think I got a raise because in their eternal wisdom, they think this Regal cost two or three thousand dollars more than it did. If that's what you think, go see your Buick dealer. You'll find Regal is priced with T-Bird and Cougar, even less. But don't tell the guys around the office. The great American belongs to Buick. Round of over 16,000 to sell out at Riverfront Coliseum in Cincinnati, ready to see Southern take on Kentucky. Now for the introduction of the starting lineups, let's go to PA announcer Neil Bendesky. Here are the starting lineups for Southern University and the University of Kentucky. At forward for Southern University, 
6'5", and a senior from Lutcher, Louisiana, 33, Kevin Florent. From Kentucky at forward, 6'6", six, six, and a freshman from Macon, Georgia, 23, Eric Manuel. For Southern University at forward, 6'6", six, six, and a junior from Mobile, Alabama, 45, Daryl Battles. At forward for Kentucky, 6'7", and a senior from Louisville, Kentucky, 25, Winston Bennett. The man in the middle for Southern University, at 6'7", and a senior from Fort Worth, Texas, 44, Rodney Washington. The man in the middle for Kentucky at 611 and a senior from Reedley, California, 44, Rob Rock. At guard for Southern, a senior at 5 foot 11 from New Orleans, Louisiana, 15, Avery Johnson. At guard for Kentucky, he's 6 4 and a sophomore from Owensboro, Kentucky, number 3 is Rex. Chapman. For Southern University, at guard, 6'4 and a senior, from Lafayette, Louisiana, 30, Gervon Johnson. At guard for Kentucky, 6'2 and a senior, from Brooklyn, New York, 15, Ed Davender. Introducing the head coaches for Southern University, Ben Job. For the University of Kentucky, Eddie Sutton. And there you have the introduction of the starting lineup for tonight's game, the Southern Jaguars and the Kentucky Wildcats. And we'll return with the opening tip-off after these messages. In 1988, the NCAA Final Four is celebrating its 50th anniversary. Don't miss this chance to get your own 50th anniversary corduroy cap, t-shirt, or commemorative 24-karat gold-plated coin, each just $10.95, or all three for $27.95. Every order will also receive free the 1988 NCAA Official Final Four gift catalog. Credit card orders only. Call now, 1-800-225-3030. Didn't your mother ever tell you not to wolf down your food? So did ours. At Druthers, we think it's possible to be served quickly and still enjoy a great tasting meal at your own pace. That's the reason eating at Druthers is more like a relaxing meal at home. And it's why no place else feels like Druthers. Back in Cincinnati's Riverfront Coliseum, the Southern Jaguars looking for their first NCAA tournament win in three trips. The Kentucky Wildcats with a record of 53 and 29 in 33 NCAA appearances. Here are the officials for tonight's game, Tom Frey, Jimmy Clark, and Jim Laustelot to call the action. And Kentucky is the higher seated team, wears the home white uniforms and a good Kentucky Ladies crowd and here at this. Riverfront Coliseum. Here are your matchups again. Florent, the leading scorer, battles Washington. Avery Johnson, who leads the nation in assists, and Durbin Johnson, Manuel Bennett, Locke, Chapman, the leading scorer, and Davider in the backcourt for Kentucky. And the Wildcats control the opening tap. What about the defense for the Jaguars? Well, it's going to be man to man, Tom, and the real key here is to see if Kentucky can make them play defense longer than they really want to. They want to get that ball and go back on the offensive end as quick as possible. Winston Bennett has it knocked away. Kentucky with its 33rd appearance, number one all time. They've gone to the last nine tournaments in a row. Zone defense here for the Jaguars. That's a surprise, a matchup zone. Hammonder for three. Good. Three point field goal. Ed Davender, the Wildcats senior guard, puts Kentucky on top 3-0. Kentucky in a man-to-man. -man. Southern wants to shoot that ball every seven seconds. I know that's hard to believe. They want 93 shots from the field and from the foul line as a combination each game, and they think they have a chance to win. Washington. 
Missed everything. Chapman with a rebound. Hits Davender. He's got Locke on a wing. Davender all the way. Got it. Here comes Southern right back in a hurry. And they lay it in the jam. Kevin Florent. That's how quickly Southern did strike back. While you're cheering and uh, celebrating the basket, they're back down the floor. They'll make your big guys run. If they don't, they're going to get some easy, cheap baskets. They got just that. Kevin Florent with a jam. And Kentucky leads it 5-2. It'll be interesting to see how this press bothers Kentucky, or if it does bother Kentucky. Eric Manuel into front court to Davender. Now they'll set it up on the half court. Really surprised about this zone. Started defense for Southern, Tom. It really surprised me. They say last touch by Kentucky. Eddie Sutton can't believe it. And the Wildcats turn it over. Sutton says it was tipped. Well, every time you turn it over, that's one more shot Southern has the chance to take. It's not what you want to do because this team will put it up from anywhere at any time. Jaguars has a team hitting 47.2%, 34 and a half from the three-point arc. They so average 96 points a game, third in the country. It's amazing. Avery Johnson, or to Durbin Johnson. Chapman was in his face. Fed it back out to Avery Johnson. This little guy right here, Avery Johnson, A.J. as he's known, has led the country in assists in the last two years. Averages over 13 a game. Battles underneath, can't hit it. Saved, though, by Southern. Right back to Durbin Johnson. His shot, no good. And Bennett with a rebound for Kentucky. Let's see if Kentucky pushes that ball up the floor on Southern. If they attack Southern and try to create a fast break situation. Daniel is open, can't hit it. Rebound swiped away and knocked out of bounds. It'll go to Southern. The boards will be important. That man right there has to do the job up on the glass this evening. If Kentucky gives up second shots to Southern, it would be a long evening for the Kentucky Wildcats. Jaguars facing a three-point deficit. This team scored 142 points in a game against Tuskegee back in December. Can you imagine how tired those guys had to be after that ball? <laughs> what about the scorekeeper? Oh, oh, that poor guy. He had sent out for a new arm. Shot on its way from Durbin Johnson. No good. And rebounded by Manuel. Chapman. Lock calls for the lob. Gets it. Brings it down. And gets it on the return. And a foul on Durbin Johnson of Southern. That's the first foul of the game. Lock was calling for the lob as they were running down court. He had to bring it down and then missed on the second attempt. Well, give Locke credit. He doesn't have it. He doesn't force something. Comes to the other side. And then I think the ball slips out of his hands, Tom. But what he did there was realize he didn't have anything the first time. Got his balance, came back under the hoop. Locke has hit double figures nine of his last 13 games. And his improvement in the free throw shooting department has been remarkable. About 49% a year ago and 76% in his senior season. Kentucky as a team hits almost 76% from the line. That'll win you a lot of tournament games. Five-point Kentucky lead. I think that was partially blocked by Manuel as Florent came up short. And the Wildcats have it again. Again, Locke on the long pass. Can't handle it. Out of bounds to Southern. Kentucky now getting into a game that really favors Southern. You saw in the offensive end for Southern, they took a couple shots the last time down the floor, Tom, that many people would say are bad shots. For the Southern University team under Coach Ben Joe, there are no bad shots. Teams that play this way, Loyola Marymount is a good example, sort of force the other team into their tempo. Don't they? they really do, and it's so tough to play against these teams unless you've got the firepower to run with them. Durbin Johnson with a three-point shot. It's 7-5, Kentucky. Davender penetrates. Bennett lost it. Kentucky not quite as sharp the last couple times down the floor as they were when they came out on the floor to open the first half. Avery Johnson calls his play and sets it up. Avery Johnson, the Southwest Athletic Conference Player of the Year, two years in a row. Missed inside by Washington. Watt gives it up to Chapman. Chapman got by Johnson. And he hit the layup and he'll go to the line. Rex Chapman left Avery Johnson cemented in his tracks. Basket by Rex Chapman. 
Chapman decides he's going to go all the way. DJ steps in the path of Rex Chapman. Was the eye contact with the basket great? Rex Chapman never takes his eye off the basket. Watch this. Oh, yeah. At the end, to avoid the contact, he does, but all the way, he looks it into the basket. And he hits for the three-point trip. He now has 1,000 points in his Kentucky career. Only the third Wildcat to hit 1,000 in his second season. Now they're going to rule a Kentucky call. The official underneath was blocked off. He asked for help after ruling Southern's way initially. And he got the help, and Eddie Sutton, the beneficiary. Kentucky has to capitalize this time down the floor because it was an empty trip. A trip down the floor where Southern did not get a shot at the hoop. If Kentucky can convert here, it's a four-point play. Locke is called for the offensive foul. Rob Locke has Kentucky's first personal. Rob needs to go on and take that ball to the hoop. It looks like he's trying to finesse around that basket. Go on and power the ball to the hoop. He's one of the bigger guys out here on the floor. He's got to take command around the glass. Kentucky with a five-point lead. I was saying Rex Chapman with 1,000, only the third Kentucky player to score 1,000 in his second season. The others, Cotton Nash and one of your former teammates, Dan Issel. Boy, I tell you what, there's two scores right there. Cotton and Dan. Blocking foul, Colin Winston Bennett of Kentucky. That's his first and the second on the Wildcats. Well, Bennett comes over to help. He does a good job of defensive rotation. What happens is, he doesn't get real good position. He's leaning to the side. Florette does an excellent job with body control to get that shot off. Give Winston an A for effort, about one step away from the correct defensive rotation. Rob Locke on the Kentucky bench getting some instruction from James Dickey. LaRon Ellis has come in to replace him. Kevin Florent at the line. He'll have one more free throw. He's only a 55% free throw shooter. They call him the Lutcher Leaper from Lutcher, Louisiana. Got a 38-point high on the year. He's a leading scorer coming into the ballgame. <laughs> Missed the second one. Manuel with a rebound. Chapman rips it to Davender. To the hoop. He scores. And Davender with seven early points. Avery Johnson from 15. No good. Ron Ellis way up to get the rebound. Ellis, the freshman out of Tustin, California, 6'11". Both teams doing a good job of attacking the press on the backside. They're not pulling it out. They're pushing it up the floor and trying to score. We played five minutes here in Cincinnati, and Kentucky holds a six-point lead. Winston Bennett with his first two of the game. Kentucky now five out of six to start. Southern University, two out of nine. And a pushing foul called on Southern. I think it's going to be on Florent. Let's see. It is on Florent. His first and the third against the Jaguars. 14.44 to go in the first half. Time out on the floor with a score. Kentucky 14, Southern 6. More people buy Bluegrass Hyundai XL because of the equipment. Rack and pinion steering, McPherson struts, rear defroster. Plus, it's only $53.95. Easy to buy, $33 down and $33 a week. Buy a Hyundai XL GS or GLS this week and get a free Disney World vacation. That's Mom and Dad and Cindy and me. Wow, Disney World. Dad, you really ought to buy a Bluegrass Hyundai. Bluegrass Hyundai. 4520 Shelbyville Road. Why does America love Big Boy for seafood? Same reason you love all our food. Big Boy goes out of the way to bring you the tastiest, whatever it takes to get the most delectable seafood. And now Big Boy's fish and chips dinner is just $2.99, and our tasty halibut dinner is just $4.90. Catch our seafood specials. You'll be hooked on them just like all the good food at Big Boy. America loves its big boy. For seafood. In 1929, a little company had a dream. Delivering packages overnight by airplane. Well, tonight, that little company is sending a fleet of jets into the Louisville sky with thousands of packages bound for all over the world. UPS, a dream come true. Impossible dreams and making them come true. That's what success is made of, and it's what liberty is all about. They make them come true every day. There are banks, and there is liberty. 
Kentucky hitting five of its first six field goal attempts with a 14-6 lead over the Southern Jaguars, while Southern able to connect on only two of nine in the early going. And Tom, of those five made baskets by Kentucky, three have been layups where they have attacked the press at the back against Southern and have been able to convert to easy baskets. Kentucky with the basketball. LeRon Ellis has it knocked away and stolen by Southern. Florent looking for help, fires it cross court to Dervin Johnson. Wide open for three, no good. Davender with the rebound and a pushing foul on Davender to get it, I suppose. That'll be his first and number three on Kentucky. Eddie got a little anxious. Used the left arm to push off. Had a nice rebound there until he got caught. No wonder it's so nice. That is his first person. Southern with the basketball trailing 14-6. 14 and a half minutes left in the first half. Tom has been interesting. We look for Southern to go up and down the floor very quickly. But really, they've turned their offense into a half-court game. And they're running it extremely well. Kentucky beating Southern in its own game early. Nice move off the glass. Kevin Florent got his fifth point. 14-8 the Kentucky lead. Wildcats against that pressure defense of the Jaguars. And the freshman, Eric Manuel, handling the ball. Eric Manuel, amazing, he's only committed a handful of turnovers. Well, there, we've had one shocker today when Richmond knocked off Indiana. Here's number two, Murray State out of the Ohio Valley Conference beating North Carolina State 78-75. I'll tell you, there's a whole bunch of people in the western part of the state of Kentucky real happy with that score. Now that was a big win. Nice fake by Johnson, but then he came up empty on the shot, and Ellis has it for Kentucky. Kentucky creating an up-tempo situation. Davender double-teamed, got rid of it to Chapman, but he was out of bounds. A double team Davender, and he couldn't get rid of it. His pass to Chapman hit the out of bounds line. And Sutton's team turns it over. What happened that time? Southern pulled a half court trap on Kentucky that time, and I think it really shocked Kentucky. They were looking for Southern to fall back into that zone, maybe, or even the man to man. They came out in half court trap, really stunned them momentarily. The faster pace has forced Kentucky into seven turnovers here. Patrick Garner into the game for Southern, number 32, a 6'6 senior from Tylertown, Mississippi. Averages 11 a game. Chapman with a steal. In the jam. Played the passing lane extremely well. He was lying back waiting for that pass and picked it off. Florent gets open and he scores. Kevin Florent, who averages 21 a game, the Jaguars' leading score was seven early. Cavender, Ellis, in the jam. Again, Kentucky is beating Southern in its own game. That is an example, Tom, of when I mentioned they were attacking the backside of the press. A lot of teams don't do that. Kentucky has come out with that in mind, and they've been very successful. There's a three-point shot by Patrick Garner. Just came into the game and immediately gets a three to cut Kentucky's lead back to five. Southern has seven players averaging in double figures. Chapman pulls up and scores again. Chapman. Chapman with seven points. It's 2013 Kentucky. I'll tell you what, they're going to keep this scoreboard lit up tonight. Wow. Garner misses that one. Rebounded by Bennett. Here's another layup. Oh, reverse jam, Rex Chapman. Here's Florent the other way for Southern. Knocked away by Manuel and out of bounds to the Jaguars. I'll tell you what, what we've got here is a dunking ex exhibition. Tremendous job by Kentucky of pushing the ball up the floor against the press of Southern University. Well, they said some, some said that Kentucky couldn't play at that fast pace. They're proving the experts wrong. We've got a timeout. Kentucky leading Southern 22-13. Hello, friend. Alan Purnell here. My brother and I make Purnell's Old Folks Country Sausage in Simpsonville, Kentucky. Now, there's a lot of country sausage, and there's a lot of difference. And I'd like to tell you what the difference is. We use the ham, shoulders, loins, and bacon, seeding it with pure natural spices, no water added either. Only then do we put our name on it. And if we put our name on it, you know we made it. So taste the difference in Purnell's Old Folks Country Sausage, because it's good. 
the most challenging thing in my career is the next story I do. That next story is always a question mark. Can I do a good job? Can I live up to this story? Can I do it well? And is it going to turn out right? That's the big challenge. Not the story that I did five years ago, the story that I'm doing tonight. Dedication is leadership. Leadership is Gary Rodemeyer and Action 11 News. At a lot of fast food restaurants, everyone is so caught up in the race that it can be dangerous to get in their way. Hey, Arthur. You look very pretty and the spaghetti is as good as new. But at Druthers, making you feel comfortable is just as important as serving you a variety of good food. That's why a trip to our salad bar is more likely to include a pleasant conversation than a brush with disaster. And it's why no place else feels like Druthers. Just over 12 minutes in the first half at Cincinnati, Kentucky 22, Southern 13. The NCAA is conducting research during this men's basketball tournament, and we'd like your participation. Would you like to see more women's basketball on television? If your answer is yes, dial 900-260-2221. If your answer is no, dial 900-260-2222. That call will cost you 60 cents. An amazing statistic. Kentucky, 90% from the field, Southern 31. Give Kentucky credit for being able to break the press and get some easy layups, dunks, in fact, at the tail end against the Southern Press. Nine of their first ten minutes of those were layups. Washington can't hit it in close, but he's fouled, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. I believe Ellis just got caught behind him that time. He's a freshman. Make mistakes like that. Washington made him pay the price. Drew the foul. First foul on Leron Ellis. And here's Rodney Washington at the free throw line for the Jaguars. He rolls it in off the front of the rim. He's a senior out of Fort Worth, Texas. Good foul shooter on the year. 73%, averaging 10 a game. And he got them both. Rodney Washington with his first two points of the game makes it a 22-15 Kentucky lead. You see what adjustments Southern has made in their press. They need to really concentrate on getting back and cutting off shots like that. Richard Madison into the lineup, missed the layup, and somehow waited in there to get it back. And Davender and Chapman wondering about who would catch it standing in back court and sort of watched each other and turned it over. Nobody wanted to go for the ball that time. Eddie Sutton has taken another team to the NCAA tournament. This is his 12th straight team to the big tournament, second only to Dean Smith's 14. See, Southern has done an excellent job running their little passing game. They, they really, they got some good shots. They haven't gone down, but they've done an excellent job of execution. Garner let it fly no good, but Southern comes back up with the offensive rebound, and then it's Florent that buries it from three-point range. That's his 10th point of the game. It's a four-point lead. Southern chipping back at that Kentucky advantage. Chapman lobbed to Ellis, who put it in on the reverse. What a pass, but what hands by Ellis. Oh, he had some great hands on that. Great pass inside. Avery Johnson feeds it into Washington, and he's fouled. Did you see that pass from Avery Johnson? Tell you what. We get, Chapman we'll get a can chance. pass some too, can't Oh, we? we'll get a chance to see this pass. But watch Ellis as he goes up, turns his back to the basket. Look at the hands, controls that pass. Folks, that's not easy. Great pair of hands, great catch. At the other end, as you said, Avery, Avery Johnson, what a pass. A guy leads the country two years in a row in the system. Can deliver the ball on the money. And Washington now three for three at the free throw line. The foul was the second on Winston Bennett and number five against Kentucky. Wildcats hitting 10 of their first 12 shots in the game. 24-20, four point Wildcat lead. Davender beats the pressure with a dribble. Southern still trying to score. Go from defense to offense with that press. It really hasn't been successful so far. It's because the backside of the press has really been weak. 
Ducky shows us it's half-court offense now. And Chapman <laughs> let it fly to the three-point line, and Madison had the offensive rebound and then slipped. He'll be called for traveling. There's Madison, the senior out of Memphis, 6-7, averaging three points a game. Tom, it looked like Rex had a pass in mind that time, and when he went up with the ball, somebody might not have been looking, so he went ahead and took the shot. Coach Sutton not real happy with that shot selection. Approaching the midway point of the first half. Outside shot rims out for Garner and rebounded by Kentucky. Kentucky owning the boards. Gavender fouled as he cut between Johnson and Garner, I believe, or was it Florent? It's Florent, and Kevin Florent has his second personal foul. You made a good point about Kentucky owning the boards. Southern, one shot, and that's all they're getting, and away goes Kentucky. Kentucky has, in fact, a 12-4 edge in rebounding here in the first half. And I bet you that they might have had two second or put-back shots, Southern, that is, so far in the first half. Winston Bennett out for Kentucky, replaced by Rob Locke. That was the fourth team foul on Southern. Southern now back in a zone from the man back to a zone. Rob Locke posting up. Feeds it back out to Davender for three. three. Good ball move at that time. Locke did a good job. He felt the defense collapse on him down low at the block. He kicked it back out to the open man. Good feel for the game that time by Rob Locke. Davender, the first Wildcat in double figures. That was his 10th point. Ellis reaching in, commits the foul on battles. Leron Ellis, number two. The Kentucky coaching staff jumped up that time, raised their arms up, told Ellis, get your arms up, get your arms up. Don't keep him down and push down at the waist. 16 fouls on the Wildcats, so for the final 9-39, Southern will shoot the bonus. Rob Locke blocks battle shot out of bounds. It'll go back to the Jaguars. Daryl Battles, who's averaging 15 a game, hasn't scored yet for Southern. Florent gives it up to Johnson. Avery Johnson penetrates, reverse no good. Madison with a rebound. A.J. that time tried to use the rim to protect himself from the defender, Tom. Probably should have gone ahead and laid it up on the right-hand side as he went in. Got a little too fancy that time. Kentucky by seven. Davender looking for an opening. Kicks it to Ellis who fumbled the ball and Southern has it. Nice pass though. Ellis just didn't seem to be ready. Good pass by Davender. Here's A.J. feeding it over to Florent. Drives the lane, dishes it off, and that'll be an offensive foul. No basket. Kevin Florent guilty of the foul, and that is his third. So Southern's leading scorer, Kevin Florent, picking up his third personal foul with 8.54 left in the first half. That'll really hurt because no one else on the Southern team so far has been able to pick up the slack or any offensive slack. And with Kevin Florin on the bench now, puts a big load on some people that haven't shot the ball real well so far. Florin has 10 points to lead Southern here in the first half. He goes out, replaced by Durbin Johnson. Cedric Jenkins into the game for Kentucky. Knocked out of bounds, back to the Wildcats. Jenkins, 55 and white, a 6'9", senior from Dawson, Georgia, averaging three points a game. Started 11 times early in the season as you see Kevin Florent on the southern bench with three fouls. Kentucky really laboring right now, just getting the ball inbounds. Chapman brings it into front court. Wildcats leading by seven. The biggest lead has been nine. Jenkins has it knocked away, and they'll take it away from him. Jenkins fumbling it, knocked it out of bounds. Credit Southern, though, quick hands. They forced the trap down on the sideline. I'll tell you what, there were four very quick hands in there, created that turnover. Seven-point Wildcat lead. Southern with the basketball and a chance to chip away at it. That shot of beauty, that's a two-point shot, a two-pointer by Garner. That's what they're going to have to do, Southern, get someone like Patrick Garner involved in the offense where he can pick up the slack and throw around. Avender on the run out is fouled by Avery Johnson. Avery Johnson with his first personal foul as Chapman spotted Davender streaking down court. Nice baseball pass. Davender almost outruns that pass. Avery Johnson, really nothing else he can do but try to come around and get the ball. 
Winston Bennett returns to the Kentucky lineup, number 25, the Wildcats senior. Kentucky Chapman gets a rest. Tom Kentucky's been real successful against this press, and that surprises me. I thought they might have some problems against this Southern press, but they certainly have handled it well. Ed Davender at 86.1, the leading free throw shooter in the Southeastern Conference. That's his first attempt tonight. He has 11 points. Chapman gets that rest. Eric Manuel also came back in and replaced Richard Madison. Davender, the first Kentucky player to score 1,500 points and collects over 400 assists. In Kentucky's long and storied basketball history, he's done something no other Wildcat has ever done. Southern quickly puts it up. Garner can't hit it, and Manuel has the rebound. Garner has been the most reliable sub for Southern all year. He's been able to spark him offensively. He's one out of two. He can't quit shooting. He's got to keep putting that ball up. Locke missed it off the back of the rim. Battles with a rebound. Outlet to Avery Johnson in front court. Garner is open. No good. Jenkins with a rebound. Garner gets another good shot. He's got to keep shooting those shots. They're quality shots. They'll start falling if he continues to get quality shots like that. Kentucky with the ball leading by seven. Southern changes again. The man back to zone. They're trying a little bit of everything defensively. Trying to take Kentucky out of this fast-paced tempo. Bennett posted up low. Had his shot blocked and then a foul. It'll be called on Darrell Battles. First foul on Battles. We'll see Battles reach over the side a little late. Just a little late catching Winston Bennett with the body from behind. And so Bennett, who's a 72% free throw shooter, steps to the line for the first time tonight. Just comes off an all tournament team performance at the SEC tournament, which ironically was played in Baton Rouge, the home of Southern University. Also the home of LSU, which hosted the SEC tournament. Chapman in, Davender out for the Wildcats. What a year this young man has had coming back from an injury. Some people felt maybe a career-threatening injury has really had a fantastic year. Missed all of last season with reconstructive knee surgery. Shot no good by Johnson and rebounded by Bennett. One shot and out for Southern. It's been like that all first half. Southern has not been able to get to the offensive boards. Southern only hitting 28% of its field goals in the first half. Bennett his way through traffic, a collision, and a charging foul. That'll be number three on Winston Bennett. He's the first Kentucky player in foul trouble. Davender uh, over on the bench. Committed one, Locke had one, Ellis two. When you take off down that middle, as Winston Bennett does, you have to be aware of everyone on the floor. He didn't know where the defender's at. Maybe if he would have stopped and hit a nice little jump shot in the paint, could have avoided that charge. Richard Madison will come in to replace Winston Bennett, who sits down after picking up his third with 6.55 left in the first half. Darrell Battles looking for his first points of the night, about a 71% free throw shooter, as you see. Rebounded by Kentucky. You know, just being eight down, Southern's right in this ball game right now that they have to convert the easy shots and the foul shots. When they get to their foul line, they need to convert time. Kentucky is out-rebounded Southern 17-7. to Ben Job, the Southern coach. The Southwest Athletic Conference Coach of the Year. One of the more dapper basketball coaches in America. And winningest in 17 years. He's won over 300 games. Eric Manuel hit the side of the backboard and it came right back like a boomerang. Locke spins, can't score. On the floor, Chapman knocks it away. Johnson behind the back and the jam by Battles. How about that pass? A.J. Avery Johnson. Even the Kentucky fans were applauding that one. Oh, you had to. Pass like that you don't see very often. Chapman in traffic. Oh, people all over him and he scores. On the other end, a layup by Battles. Again, Avery Johnson from midcourt with the bounce pass. That was special. Midcourt with the bounce pass. 32-26. 
A six-point Kentucky lead. There's a foul. It'll be called on Southern. Avery Johnson with his second personal foul. That young man is special, averaging over 13 assists a game. He's been the leader in all of the United States in college basketball the last two years. The Ron Ellis for Kentucky. Tom, A.J., Avery Johnson brought the majority of these people to their off their seats, on their feet with those passes. Fantastic. Locke will miss the shot. Long rebound. Chapman knocked it away, and then Johnson just whipped it behind his back for the jam by Battles. A blind pass. You might have thought it was blind, but I believe he knew where he was throwing it. I guarantee you, he knew exactly where it was going. But I'll tell you what, he didn't have to turn around and look for it. He just threw it. Beautiful. Eric Manuel at the free throw line for Kentucky. Made the all-SEC freshman team. That's his first point tonight. He averages six a game. Since he started seven ball games ago, Kentucky is 7-0. and Had a great game against LSU in the SEC tournament. 24 points. Got one of two at the line. It's 33-26, the Kentucky lead. Just over five and a half minutes left in the first half. Racehorse basketball in Cincinnati. You put the ball in Avery Johnson's hands right there. Something exciting is going to happen. Usually something very good for Southern University. Garner shot way off. Battles rebounds and puts it in. He sent Madison flying. And Battles got his sixth point all within the last couple of minutes. Long pass to Chaplin. Rex Chapman with another jam. I'll tell you what, he's loving this game. Three-point attempt, no good. There's an offensive rebound by Southern. Garner can't hit it. Another offensive rebound, and Battles has his eighth point. That's two putbacks and two trips for Battles. Battles known as the enforcer for the Southern University team. He shows you exactly why. Tough around those boards. Irvin Johnson with a push. And he has his third personal foul, the second Southern starter with three. The other Kevin Florin who picked up three earlier and has been on the bench for some time. Southern playing very well without Kevin Florin. They have. Here's Rob Locke back for Kentucky and for Southern, number 13, is Carlos Sample, a 5'11 freshman from Baton Rouge. One of those seven players to average in double figures for the Jaguars. He averages 10 as Richard Madison goes out. Carlos Sample. This year had a game high of 37 points. <laughs> now he comes off the bench. There's a whole bunch of guys in college basketball that start would like to have a game high of 37, right? right. Manuel rolls it through. Eric Manuel, who's had phenomenal shooting when he has started. You mentioned the Kentucky winning streak coinciding with his starting assignment. He's hit 61% of his field goals when he has started for Kentucky. No field goals tonight, but he's now hit three of four at the free throw line. And we'll take a timeout with 4.47 remaining. Timeout with a score, Kentucky 37, Southern 30. At Pizza Hut, we guarantee great tasting pizza or you don't pay. Making it fresh, taking a bite, making each slice exactly right. Making it more, giving you more. Chopping and topping, caring, sharing, making a promise, making your day. Pizza Hut, making it great. At Pizza Hut, if you don't love your first slice, you don't pay. Pizza Hut. Rolling, 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 keep that business rolling. Oh, the freeway swollen, carbon. Sailor one is calculating, your sales force will be waiting. We're at the end of the line. Only one outfit is America's biggest, best mobile phone company. With access to AT&T's long distance network, whose quality services you've come to expect for your home, office, and now your vehicle. Sailor one. Yeah! What's he doing now? He just keeps looking funny at the cigar. Bet it's a Dutch Masters or El Producto. 
How come? Most cities don't use natural leaf wrappers anymore, but Gasha Vega still does. Gasha Vega gives you the rich tobacco taste of natural leaf wrappers. Hey, uh, why don't you ring this guy's chimes and tell me he needs an honest cigar? <laughs> and now there's Gasha Vega whiffs, another honest cigar. He's doing it again. Kentucky with a seven-point lead and 4.47 left in the first half. This telecast presented by authority of the NCAA. Any use of this program without written consent is prohibited. The announcers for this program have been approved and contracted by NCAA Productions. Well, Kentucky with that seven-point lead, they played an up-tempo game. Oh, to say the least. To show you what Rex Chapman can do in the open field, one of his three dunks. I would imagine Mr. Chapman likes this tempo of the basketball game he's in tonight. However, playing the faster tempo, Kentucky has turned the ball over a lot of times, 12 times to only four for Southern, and the Jaguars have turned those into points. 11 points off turnovers for Southern, only two for Kentucky. The Southern could get a couple of their shots to start falling on the half court offensively, which they really haven't been at all in the first half. They could be right back in this ball game. Avery Johnson guarded by Rex Chapman. Kentucky's been man-to-man -man the whole way. That's the Eddie Sutton trademark. Garner flips it up, not there. Chapman out scraps Sample for the rebound. Yeah. To get it to Davender, knocked away by Sample. That's the type of pass that really has created some turnovers for Kentucky. They're trying to force the ball up sometimes. Instead of letting the fast break flow, they pushed it up, really forced some passes, Tom. Chapman will throw it in. And Davender will set it up. Davender pulls up for 15. Out there. And rebounded by Battles of Southern. Here's Avery Johnson. Four assists already in the game. That shot blocked by Ellis. And then on the second try, Washington gets it down for his first field goal. Avery Johnson, quite a pass. Passed away from the defenders on the baseline side. Beautiful job. Southern pulls within five. Kentucky can't shake the Jaguars. They really can't. If the ball starts falling for Southern on the half-court offense, because they're getting good shots, they're executing well on the half-court, they'll be right in it. Kentucky hitting 65% of its shots. Southern only 34%, but the Jaguars only trail by five. Manuel pulls up. No good. Tap by Luck. No good. On the floor, Davender. He lost it. Scrap for it. Southern's got it. Great effort by Battles. Got down, got dirty, found the loose ball. Jaguars down by five. 320 left in the first half. Let's watch this execution right now by Southern. They're getting good shots. They're really turning this offense over. Remember Kevin Florent, the leading scorer for Southern, on the bench for much of this half in foul trouble. Ellis over the back has the foul as Battles posted up strong. Three fouls on the Ron Ellis. So Kentucky has Bennett with three, Ellis with three, Southern has Florent with three, and Dervin Johnson with three. Battles too big and too strong to allow him to post up down at the block. Ellis has to beat him across the paint, take the position from him. Right now, offensively, Southern is dominating. They're executing, they're getting the ball inside. They're really playing better without their leading scorer, Kevin Florent, who's on the bench in foul trouble. Jenkins replaces Ellis in the Kentucky lineup. As you get an illustration of that Kentucky depth. Battles free throw is good. Southern bench with seven players averaging in double figures, and both these teams have a lot of depth. And both coaches. Not afraid to go to that bench. Battles after a slow start has hit double figures for the 23rd time this season. The closest Southern has been since the opening seconds of the ball game. They're within three. Manuel off the glass. He got it. Good shot selection. Came right down, attacked the press, but got a good shot. And a turnover as. Avery Johnson carried the ball, and Ben Job's team will turn it over. A gentleman right there has coached all over this world. Coached a junior college in West Africa in Sierra Leone. 
Also coached at Talladega, Alabama State, South Carolina State. Was an assistant at the University of South Carolina under Frank McGuire when they played Kentucky. Coached with the Denver Nuggets in professional basketball. He has definitely earned his spurs as a coach. Davender's open. They give him the shot. He makes it. And Davender has 14, leading Kentucky in scoring. Avery Johnson, a rare shot, and won't go. Out of bounds to Kentucky, last touch by Battles. Battles doing an excellent job inside. Really, he's controlling the paint right now. Kentucky not as strong now as they were to start the game on the glass. Battles and Garner were in there fighting for it. They knocked it out of bounds, and Kentucky has it. Just over two minutes left in the first half. Away from Manuel, out of bounds to the Wildcats. You know, we went a couple minutes there where Ed Davender didn't get a shot, didn't score. Then he popped a shot last time down the floor. Let's see if Kentucky brings him back into the offense, Tom. Davender sets it up. They gave Manuel a lot of room, and he just stepped up and popped it through. And That's Chapman with a steal. Manuel. Chapman shot. No good. Davender got the rebound. Great hustle by... Kentucky's backcourt of Chapman and Davender. It's not one, it's the other. Davender pulls up and hits again. Quite a first half for Ed Davender, and Kentucky quickly sprints to an 11-point lead. Eight straight points for the Kentucky Wildcats. Could be said that this is a big hoop right now for Southern. They need to cut off this rally. Washington spins in the paint and draws the foul. Raw block, guilty of number two. Washington that time did a good job posting up, used a spin move to avoid the two Kentucky defenders and drawing the foul from Rob Lock. Mike Scott in for the Wildcats, 6'11 junior from South Shore, Kentucky. He averages two a game. Henry replaces Rob Lock. Iowa with the lead on Florida State by four in the second half in the West region. Washington gets the roll on his free throw. He has six points in the game, four of them at the free throw line on four of five shooting. Hey! Hey! 45-36, Southern cuts the lead to nine, a minute 18 left in the first half. Constant pressure, full court and half court by Southern. <laughs> Makes his way to the basket, scores. It'll count, and he's fouled. You can score that ball. The big guy, Cedric Jenkins, shows you that not only the guards can go to the hole, but the big guy can take it to the hole, too. All big guys sometime in their life want to be able to be guards. Cedric Jenkins shows you that he can do one. So Avery Johnson moving under Jenkins, guilty of his third foul. And the foul woes beginning to mount for the Southern Jaguars. 48-36 Kentucky. Biggest lead for the Wildcats. A floater by Sample, his first two of the game. Lead back to 10. Clock shows, as you see, 52 seconds. Manuel gets free. Indeed. No good. Washington has the loose ball. Gives it up to Avery Johnson. Manuel picked his pocket. And Johnson got it back from Chapman. Kicks it over. The shot no good by Battles. Jenkins rebounded, and it's loose. And that ball's all over the place. Somebody needs to slow it down just for a second. Take their time. And make sure they get something. <laughs> Eddie Sutton, who's a disciple of Hank Iba, and the control game has to be <laughs> breaking out of the cold sweat over there. That's making that heart of his tick a little quicker right now. Lob it in to Battles against Scott. Knocked away. Southern gets it back with 20 seconds. They're going to go for the last one with the ball in the youngster's hands right here. He can make something happen. They're going to look to go in on a high note with a hoop. Johnson penetrates and lays it in. Oh, he makes something happen there. Avery Johnson. Nice. One second left. And Chapman lets it go. It won't count even if it goes in. 
So that's the end of a fast-paced first half of action from Cincinnati with a score Kentucky 48, Southern 40. We'll be back after this message and a word from your local station. This is an NCAA production telecast. Part of growing up, you feel left out of the fun sometimes. It happens to everyone, even to the people who seem popular. If you don't use drugs and alcohol to have a good time, maybe you feel alone, as if you're the only person you know who isn't drinking or using drugs. But you're not alone, and you're not missing out on anything except a ruined life or maybe an early death. Don't worry, you're on the right track. This message furnished by the NCAA. There's nothing like the sensation of soaking in hot water in a spa from Bear Spa and Saunas because our hot spring spas are the best spas in the world. You can choose from a wide assortment of models with the exclusive Moto Massage feature. And you can get the best spa for less with 100% financing. Hot spring spas. Come on, get in. There's one waiting for you now at Bear Spa and Saunas, Louisville and Lexington. Work hard to fulfill your dreams. Your investments should perform just as well. Citizens Fidelity has the savings plans to make your dreams come true. My can Pride in performance. We've built a bank on it. Citizens Fidelity. Doesn't it seem that what passes for service at most fast food restaurants is more like a comedy of errors? Boy, if I hadn't ducked me to collide, it's sure. What a narrow escape. At Druthers, we take your visit a bit more seriously with good food and friendly, efficient service. It makes a meal at Druthers more like a visit with friends than a test of your endurance. And it's why no place else feels like Druthers. This is an Action 11 news break. Good evening, I'm Melissa Forsyth. And I'm Gary Rodemeyer. Louisville is preparing to pop the champagne tonight to celebrate the city's successful hosting of the Sweet 16 basketball tournament. We'll have that story after the game. We'll also show you how local police are delivering confiscated Michael Jackson tickets to poor children. The tickets were taken from would-be scalpers. A U.S. envoy has gone to Panama to cut a deal with General Noriega, offering to end those drug charges if Noriega will leave Panama. In Elizabethtown, a jury found 31-year-old William McHarg guilty of trying to kill his wife today. Rhonda McHarg was shot six times and left in a ditch for two days. The jury recommends a 17-year prison term. On the night team, we'll show you how the loss of a pet cuts deeply with people, and we'll be following the NCAA with a live report from Cincinnati after the Wildcats game. And please join us next Monday afternoon when we begin a new half hour of news, the 5.30 Action 11 News. Now, enjoy the rest of the game. At Clap, we're interested in selling Oldsmobiles, and we're ready to deal. We want to make this a record-breaking month, so come take advantage of dealing with the friendly people at Clap Oldsmobile. The savings are waiting for you on all our Oldsmobile models, like the all-new Cutlass Supreme, Cutlass Sierra, and Olds 88. You won't want to buy an Oldsmobile without talking to us at Clap. It's just a short drive over to Clap Oldsmobile on Highway 131 in Clarksville. Come on, Louisville. Cross the bridge to lower prices. Some people only dream of it. Executive West Hotel has mastered it. Complete presentation capabilities, 19 meeting and banquet rooms, over 50,000 square feet. 600 rooms, 52 suites, complete catering facilities, two fine restaurants, and the experience and resources to anticipate and meet your every need. Executive West Hotel, just off Watterson Expressway at the main entrance to the fairgrounds. We want to see your eyes when you see our shrimp. At Long John Silver's, we want to see you sink your teeth into our big, juicy butterfly shrimp. And right now, you can get these golden beauties in four great meals for only $3.99 each. Like our six-piece shrimp dinner and our shrimp and fish dinner. You see, we want to make sure we're going to see you back. Shrimp meals, $3.99 each. We want to see you happy.
Hello, I'm Oscar Robertson, and I love basketball. As you may know, this is the 50th anniversary of the Final Four Tournament. In this 50th year, the NCAA has commissioned a one-of-a-kind real-life movie. It is called Final Four the Movie. That's action footage dating back to 1939. And the story is told by people who made basketball history. Score tied, just seconds left in overtime. Jump ball controlled by the Utes. Over it goes to Arnie. Back to Herb Wilkinson. Long one. looking for Chamberlain, gets it into the big man, he turns, boots into the center, shoots, scores! Chamberlain shot good, 52-51. Robertson on the move. Down the right side. To the corner, stop. Up for a jumper, true for two! 12 seconds to go. Loyola moves the ball toward the basket. Heat is off to Harkness. Harkness at the baseline, shot. No, it's a pass to Hunter. Hunter's shot is up. It's no good. touches it, there's about three people in this area. Burr, Johnson, three on one. Here it comes. The alley oop. Good break, Kelser. Got to drive to the basket. It's down to seven seconds. You can see the time. Wittenberg. Oh, that's a long way. They won it. On the dunk. If you look in the dictionary, Look it up. I hope it'll say NCAA Tournament. It's the single most exciting event in American sport. Excitement, fun, uh, enjoyment, uh, uh, memories. You see the players and you see the look in their faces. They just know that, it's, uh, uh, that they're involved in something that they will remember the rest of their lives. It's a terrific movie. All the great moments and players are here. What a treat for sports fans. Order your copy of Final Four, the movie, today for $39.99 and save $10 off the retail price. Use your Visa or MasterCard and call 1-800-292-NCAA. That's 1-800-292-NCAA. Or send a check or money order for $39.99 to Final Four, the movie, P.O. Box 3395, Champaign, Illinois, 61821. And at halftime, Kentucky leading Southern 48 to 40. We'll be right back with more halftime activities after these words from your local station. Didn't your mother ever tell you not to wolf down your food? So did ours. At Druthers, we think it's possible to be served quickly and still enjoy a great tasting meal at your own pace. That's the reason eating at Druthers is more like a relaxing meal at home. And it's why no place else feels like Druthers. It's not a car. It's not a truck. It's just sheer driving fun. Introducing Kentuckiana's most exciting new dealership, Courtesy Suzuki and the Courtesy Suzuki Samurai. The hot new 4x4 that took Florida by storm and made Californians quake down to their jams. Courtesy Suzuki Samurais are hard-working wagons, off-road explorers, versatile mini-trucks, sunny convertibles, and even woodies, all in one incredible package and priced from just $79.95. That's right, $79.95. On sale now at Courtesy Suzuki, 4021 Shelbyville Road, just two miles west of the Waterson. Monsters. Wildest Wheels at Louisville's Freedom Hall Friday and Saturday, April 8th and 9th. See Hot Rod Mud Racers challenging the world record in the massive mud pit. Plus giant drag racing car crushing monster trucks. Plus first time in Freedom Hall indoor demolition derby. Same night show trucks, show girls, and the ladies dash for cash. Friday is Cross Pontiac Jeep Eagle Kids Night. One child's ticket free when purchased with an adult ticket. Six great events every performance. Freedom Hall April 8th and 9th. Men and metal are coming to make it in the mud. Time at Cincinnati, Ohio, Southern University 40, University of Kentucky 48. 
I'm here with Jim Delaney, the commissioner of the Ohio Valley Conference. Commissioner Delaney, we've got a lot of really great affairs at the Final Four in Kansas City. Could you share some of those uh, with us? That's right. Uh, I'm really excited about it. It's the 50th anniversary of the NCAA tournament. And uh, in Kansas City over Easter weekend, when we're celebrating the Final Four, we're going to bring in some of the MVPs from the Final Four and some of the coaches from the Final Four over the last five decades. There's going to be a special uh, banquet celebration on Thursday night, emceed by Brent Musburger and Oscar Robertson, Jerry West. Some of the great players and great coaches uh, are going to be there. And I think anyone who loves basketball has got to really look forward to that. Now, is that affair going to be open to the public? Can there, are there tickets available? Yeah, they're, uh, they're about, uh, I think they're expecting between 11 and 1,200. And I think uh, the public has an opportunity to buy some. And I think some of the corporate sponsors who are really underwriting this tremendous celebration of the Final Four, which is going to culminate not only in the playing of the games, but an availability of a Final Four film called the uh, Final Four of the Film, and also a, uh, a, de uh, a coffee table book that chronicles uh, 50 years of NCAA basketball tournaments. Is there a telephone number or an address we could give someone who would like to attend this affair? Uh, I think they'll probably go to NCAA PO Box 1906, Mission, Kansas 66222. You've got that down like you've sent in your order. <laughs> well, we do a lot of communicating with the NCAA, Michael. All right, Commissioner, one quick thing. Your league pulled a very big upset, if I could use that terminology, Murray State beating NC State in the opening round. It's got to feel great. You're sitting here with a big smile on your face. Two years in a row, Austin P. last year beating Illinois, and now Murray State. Well, it's a great win for Murray State, and it's a great win for the Ohio Valley Conference. Uh, NC State was the number three seed, uh, which means they're a top 12 team in the country. They're out of a great league, the Atlantic Coast Conference. And I'll tell you, Murray State uh, did something during the regular season that hasn't been done in 20 years in the Ohio Valley Conference. That is, they won seven games on the road and were undefeated. And I'm really happy for them. Uh, Steve, Coach Steve Newton and uh, Martin and Mann and, and the company was really great. Tremendous for a tremendous feeling. Well, I know you're happy and they're happy. Thanks for stopping by and visiting with us. Tom, back to you. All right, Mike, getting ready for the second half with the Kentucky Wildcats leading the Southern Jaguars 48 to 40. We'll be back for the second half of tonight's game right after this. The student athlete is not a hyphenated word, but it's bracketed because it's, it's a combination. It's like your whole education is not just the four years of formal training uh, at the university. It's the travel that we did, uh, the broadening of our horizons, uh, the values that we uh, observed at the university and throughout the country as we traveled around and that shared experience is I'm convinced going to be with me for my next 50 or 60 years. In effect, basketball and college sports has been responsible for what I am right now. It's not without setbacks, but at least it, it gave me the resiliency or the open-mindedness to realize that you don't win every game, you don't lose every game, you have higher ups and lower downs, but in the long run, uh, it's how you play the game. This message furnished by the NCAA. It's the 50th NCAA Basketball Championship. Brought to you in part by Rawlings Sporting Goods, maker of the official ball of the NCAA Basketball Championships. And by Pizza Hut, home of America's favorite pan pizza. Tonight's exciting NCAA basketball here on WHAS-TV is sponsored by Druthers Restaurants. No place else feels like Druthers. Coliseum in Cincinnati with Kentucky leading Southern 48 to 40. It was a first half full of highlights. Uh, racehorse basketball from one end to the other. Rex Chapman with 13 first half points for Kentucky, but he also had some assists. This one to freshman Leron Ellis. Sensational pass. Great hands by Leron Ellis. Great eye contact to the hoop. Chapman shows you he not only can score, he can pass. And he, he can play a little defense, too. Here the, he'll make the steal. He took the words right from my mouth. Plays that passing lane excellently. Now it's showtime. Just like you used to jump, Mr. Hammond. <laughs> Rex Chapman 
as you pointed out, probably likes this pace of a game. Here he takes the long pass on the inbounds play. And for Rex, who can really get up and jam, he throws down another. This was a rare Southern occurrence in the first half. They'll come down, get a shot, and get the offensive rebound. They didn't happen too many times. Kentucky did a very good job of eliminating any second shots early on by Southern. But late in the first half, Battle, Washington were able to get some putbacks and really hurt Kentucky in the paint. All right, let's take a look at the first half stats. And Kentucky with uh, a lot of those high percentage shots hitting 64%. That could really help your uh, percentage. The closer in, the easier it gets. Remember, Southern wants 93 shots per game, 39, uh, 50, actually counting the free throws. That's what they count. They work for 93, so they're on pace. But they only hit 14 from the field, 36%, although they did hit very well, did both teams at the free throw line. Keep your eye on how many shots they can get, not only from the, from the field, but also from the foul line. At one point, Kentucky had a 10-rebound edge. It's a six here at halftime. The Wildcats playing that faster pace have turned it over twice as many times as Southern. And let's take a look at the individual scoring for Southern Florent, who picked up three fouls early and sat out much of the half, still with 10 points. Battles started slowly, but picked up 10 by intermission. Washington with eight, Garner five off the bench, the Johnsons three and two respectively, and they each have three fouls, so Southern in foul trouble. Davender leads the way for the Wildcats, top of the point parade was 16, Chapman 13, that potent backcourt for the Wildcats, Manuel seven, Ellis only had four, three fouls as well. Winston Bennett held to three first half points and also picked up three personal fouls. Let's keep our eye on Southern University's offense with Kevin Florent now back in the ball game, Tom. Been in foul trouble in the first half. Now they work him back in the offense. He is their leading scorer at 20 points a game, but Southern played very well without him in the first half when he was in foul trouble. Southern has Florent, Battles, Washington, Avery Johnson, Durbin Johnson, the original starting five. And Kentucky counters with its starting five, Bennett, Manuel, Locke, Davender, and Chaplin. Again, Southern content to running their half-court offense, which they did very well in the first half. Florent. Manuel got a piece of it, and Bennett calls it down for the Wildcats. Winston Bennett been quiet in the first half of this ball game tonight. Rob Locke pushed by Rodney Washington. That's the first foul of the second half, number one for the game on Washington, the 6'7 senior out of Fort Worth. Not really a good foul. Rob Locke was not in position when he received the ball to really hurt Washington. Should have took a pass on that foul. Use your fouls well. Make sure that they are come at the best possible time for your team. Rex Chapman can't hit the baseline jumper. Southern rebounds. Florence moving on manual. The battles back to Florence. No good from the three-point line, and Chapman rebounds for Kentucky. Kentucky pushing the ball up, not as quick as they did in the first half. Maybe Coach Sutton told them, hey, settle this thing down a little bit in the locker room. They got a little ragged the last couple of minutes of the first half. Probably told them to settle it down. Guys, let's make sure we get some good shots, and we convert when we get on the fast break. Chapman has five rebounds in the game, leading Kentucky in that category. Davenner's open, three-point shot, no good. Taken by Battles of Southern, and up to Avery Johnson. Florent, that's his first two of the second half, but his 12th point of the game, as the Jaguars' leading scorer gets the first bucket of the second half. Florent got down the floor very quickly, set up on the baseline when the pass came to him, he was ready. Kentucky's lead at six. The Wildcats have gone almost two minutes without scoring in the second half. Southern trying a little half-court pressure that time. A little trap over in the corner in front of us. Rob hammered as he goes up from ten. He'll step to the free throw line. Second foul on Rodney Washington. Second this half. Georgetown trailing early has come from behind to take a three-point edge on LSU. And Iowa airing it out now against Florida State. Lock gets the free throw. First point of the second half for Kentucky. Southeastern Conference teams have fared very well. Auburn, Florida, Vanderbilt all winning. Kentucky ahead and LSU in the dogfight. 
50 to 42. Wildcats equal their eight point halftime lead. Offensively again, Southern content to play on the half court. Turn this passing game over. They're more noted for their up-tempo fast break. Nervin Johnson hits a two-point shot. But getting two points anyway is the important thing. That two counts as well as one on the fast break. And a steal by the Jaguars. Avery Johnson sets it up. Nervin Johnson for three. No good. Rebounded by Manuel. Here's the Wildcat fast break. Chapman to the hoop. Oh, yeah. Back was Rex Chapman. Nervin Johnson. No good. Manuel another rebound. Outlet to Davender. And the Jaguars back on defense this time. Chapman's got that dunk down pat tonight. He certainly has uh, brought some people to their feet. You realize he's playing with a broken bone in his back that hasn't completely healed yet. I don't believe that. He's played better since the mishap occurred against LSU. Winston Bennett determined work. Nice strong move by Winston Bennett. Torrent misses and manual rebounds. Chapman touch pass right to Avery Johnson of Southern. Not a good pass. Battles can't hit it. Tapped in the whole by Florin. Boy, Kevin Florin has come back into the ball game here in the second half after sitting down with foul problems. Really gotten involved in this offense. 54-46 the Wildcats. Less than 16 and a half remaining. The winner moves on to Sunday's second round against Maryland. Davender penetrated. The defense fell back and he hit it from about six feet. Nice move. They really picked that half court trap apart. Starting with Eric Manuel, who found Eddie Dabner as he was cutting to the basket. Ball away jumper by Rodney Washington. Basket by Tenth point of the game for Washington. Is that Sutter? Cuts it back to eight. The tempo of this game moving up a few notches. Dabner again. Two in a row for Dabner. He has six points this half. And he has 22 for the game. Washington hits it from in. Oh, no, excuse me. Battles got it. Neither team too concerned with defense right now, Tom. <laughs> They're both very excited about getting to this end of the floor. Chapman throws the home run pass to Locke, who lumbered toward the basket. Florent caught up with him, but had to commit foul number four. I don't uh, know that he should have just let him shoot the layup rather than get his fourth foul. Well, we're going to take a look at it. Chapman, great baseball pass this time. The one before wasn't good. This one was on the money by Rex. He's trying to get it. you got to give Kevin Florent and A for effort. It looked much worse than what it was. Check that. Rob Locke will go to the free throw line. Held without a field goal in the game. He's four for four at the charity strike. You can just feel the level tempo-wise this ball game moving up. Tom. Both teams looking to go bam, bam, bam up and down the floor. Fans, anticipation, they're waiting for the next dunk, the next great pass. That's Very right. exciting basketball game. Carlos Sample replaces Kevin Florent in the Southern lineup. Florent, the Jaguars' leading scorer on the season and tonight. 14 in this game, he came out and hit two quick buckets in the second half. But goes to the bench with four fouls. There's the Ron Ellis onto the floor for the Wildcats, replacing Rob Locke. 15 and a half to play, and Southern takes time a timeout. Out. Southern University. So timeout taken by the Southern University Jaguars. The score, Kentucky 60 and Southern 50. We make it fast. We have time for lunch. We make it hot. It's going to be hot, right? And we make it great. Hey. Making it fast. Making it hot. Giving it everything we've got. Making your smile. Give me a smile. Slice it. 
At Pizza Hut, we go all out to make it fast, hot, and delicious. Making it happen, making your taste Pizza Hut, making it great. Does car shopping confuse you? If you've shopped, and I have, you'll find the one place where the confusion ends is your Buick dealer. That's why I just bought a brand new Buick Regal. Regal is actually priced under T-Bird and Cougar. The new Regal just looks like it costs thousands more. So don't get confused. Shop where you like, but start at your Buick dealer. The car is Regal, but the price sure isn't. The great American love belongs to Buick. Fifteen and a half minutes remaining, Kentucky leading it by ten. Rex Chapman taking right at where he left off in the first half with those jams. Hey, this kid's got some live legs. Nice pass by Manuel. Rex loves this tempo. Darrell Battles for Southern has led him in scoring. Tough in the paint. The enforcer for Southern University. Rex Chapman is hitting 70% tonight. <laughs> and he's about five for five from the dunk line. Huh? Looks like Kentucky's come out in uh, sort of a zone defense here. Is that right? A little 1-3-1. One, one. Sample shoots over the 1-3-1. One, one. No good. On the offensive board, missed under there. Avery Johnson gets it back. Gives Rex Chapman a go. Still loose. They're going to keep at it until they get something done. That was blocked in by the end by Sample. I'll tell you what, there were five shots at the basket that time. Credit Southern with a tremendous effort. They got the Kentucky lead back to eight. Six times they banged it around. They finally got it home. There's a collision. No call. Chapman drives the group. His floating shot is good. He's now eight of 11 on the night. Southern, so far, 14 offensive rebounds in this ball game. They've really turned it around, rebounds wise. Jump hook by Darrell Battles is good. Again, the lead eight for Kentucky. Southern with 17 second chance points in this game. That comes from those offensive rebounds. They've really gone up on the glass. A smaller team, they're quick jumpers, they play real hard. Early in the game, they got one shot and that was it. Bad pass, Ellis threw it away. Avery Johnson, the sample against Manuel, no good. Sample has it back, and this time it goes through. I think the size of Eric Manuel that time psychologically bothered Carlos Sample, but credit him for hanging in there, picking up that loose ball. Southern within six. Kentucky playing well, Kentucky hitting 66%, Southern only 37, but the Wildcats just can't shake Southern. It's amazing. If you sat here and watched this ball game and asked somebody what they thought the score was, probably would have been more heavily in favor of Kentucky. Southern right in this ball game. Winston Bennett banks it through, number seven for Bennett. It's back to an eight-point lead for the Wildcats. Southern committing seven turnovers so far, Kentucky 17. Follow a three-point shot by Garner won't go. Kentucky has the rebound. I don't see many fallaways from the three-point line. Coach Eddie Sutton over on the sidelines, both hands up in the air, telling his team, slow it down, slow it down. Things got out of hand, a little raggedy. Let Southern get back in the ball game. Kentucky came into the game with a seven-game winning streak. There's a bad pass. Sample. Oakland rejected it, but he got into the body. You know, that's two bad passes now by LaRon Ellis. It looks like he's telegraphing his passes. He's looking right into the area before he passes. Chapman comes over. Let's see if he gets him with the body. No doubt about it. Clean block. Got him with the body. We've got a timeout with 12.57 left in the game. The score, Kentucky 64, Southern 56. We'll be right back. Relive the excitement of the 1988 NCAA Final Four with a copy of the official souvenir program. This 224-page program, the largest ever, celebrates the 50th anniversary of the Final Four. To obtain your copy, send $7 to Final Four Program, P.O. Box 1988A, Lexington, Kentucky, 40593-1988. Please allow four to six weeks for delivery. This message furnished by the NCAA. Answered by Druthers Restaurants. 
no place else feels like Druthers. food restaurants, everyone is so caught up in the race that it can be dangerous to get in their way. Hey, Arthur, you look very pretty and the spaghetti is as good as new. But at Druthers, making you feel comfortable is just as important as serving you a variety of good food. That's why a trip to our salad bar is more likely to include a pleasant conversation than a brush with disaster. And it's why no place else feels like Druthers. Huge inventories mean not one penny down buys a new Cross Pontiac. Like Le Mans, $62.88, $137 a month, plus $500 cash back. Grand Am, $97.88, $213 a month, plus $400 cash back. At Cross, your choice, 88 Grand Prix or Bonneville, $283 a month, only $12,988. See Cross Pontiac Jeep Eagle, conveniently located. Waterson Expressway at Newburgh Road or Dixie Highway at Lower Hunters. I still got to go along with that being a very good call. Good block by Rex. Got too much of the body down below. There's the shooting for the game. Southern 22 of 60. <laughs> and Kentucky 24 of 36. Again, the magic number for Southern, as far as Coach Ben Job is concerned, is 93. With 12 minutes to go, he's at the 61 mark. So he's right into his game plan. He's seven now with a chance to cut it down to six. It's probably right where he wants to be right now, Tom. Sample shooting for his eighth point. And he got it. Kentucky shooting 67% from the field, 37% for Southern. 64-58 Wildcats. Rebounding-wise, a big story there. 29 for Kentucky, 23 up on the defensive end. For Southern, 25 total, 16 on the offensive end. They've really closed the gap in the rebounding. Any of those, as you pointed out, on the offensive end. And that's really what's brought them back in the ballgame. Down under, 12-footer no good. Bennett lost it, and it's called for traveling. Sutton wanted a foul. Sample was over there fighting for the ball. Bennett went down, and... Kentucky bench can't believe it, but it's a traveling violation. Another Wildcat turnover, and that is 18. 19, excuse me, 19 now. We added one on that last turnover, so. Turnover's taking the Wildcat. Sample missed everything. Lock in there, fighting for it, and takes it away from battles. The turnovers have been plaguing the Wildcats. At the other end, Southern University has been able to convert 19 points off Kentucky turnovers. 12 minutes to play in this opening round game. Traveling call, Rob Locke, and he made, as he made a baseline move. And now 20 turnovers for the Wildcats with almost 12 minutes left. It's a lot of turnovers, even for, the, for a total game. I know Kentucky's been running up and down the floor. That's a lot of turnovers. Southern University lost to Temple in their opening game of the tournament a year ago, 75-56. Played Temple in the regular season this year, too, and lost 84-47. Somebody hit the basket. That'll be a goaltending call against Kentucky. Good call. I believe it was uh, Rex who reached up, thought he was going to have a rebound, and grabs the rim. Watch Rex Chapman. Thought he was going to get a rebound. Was just a little too late. The ball took another roll. He hung on the rim. Rodney Washington gets credit for the basket. Kentucky's lead only four. Lock on the low muscles to the basket. It counts, and he's fouled. First field goal of the game for Rob Locke, and it came in traffic. You can score at that goal. Watch Rob Locke. He is surrounded by gold uniforms. Does an excellent job two ways. First, he didn't travel. Second of all, he didn't charge. He was able to convert. Now he's got a chance for a three-pointer, Tom. Big play by Rob Locke. Second foul on Daryl Battles as Locke converts the three-point trip. 67-60, Kentucky. For three, Locke on the rebound. A little quicker shot that time by Southern. Until then, they've been playing the ball game on the offensive court, a half-court game. 
Quick shot that time. Again inside the lock. Can't score, but Manuel puts it in. Basket by Eric Manuel. Manuel on the putback gives Kentucky a nine-point lead. Offensive rebounding, a dirty job. The way to be successful in offensive rebounding is to play every shot as if it's going to be a miss. Battles, Locke got a piece of it. Manuel, Chapman, he's got Locke on the wing. Bob, stop. no, he missed it. Davender has it. Davender, he got it. And here comes Southern, right back at him. Sample to the hoop. Oh, it just rimmed out. It won't count, but a foul on Chapman of Kentucky. I'll tell you, Sample, Carlos Sample is quick out on the open floor. Took that ball off the pass, and away he went. Watch him now. Left-hander. From this angle, didn't look like much of a foul. Credit Sample, though, for taking that ball to the basket. When in doubt, go on and take it to the hole. Try to create something. Eddie Sutton has won 417 games in his 19 years as a head coach. He's in his third at Kentucky. He was at Arkansas for 11 years, five years at great. Free throw missed by Carlos Sample. He'd hit his first two there. Southern needs to convert here. They were right back in the game at about six points, behind six points. Now it's ballooned up to 11-point deficit. And Sample misses two free throws. Those are big foul shots right now. Could have brought Southern right back into the picture with those two. Kentucky's biggest lead in the game has been 12. points in the game for Bennett, and Kentucky has its biggest lead. As Kentucky goes up 13, Southern calls a timeout. Timeout with a score, Kentucky 73 and Southern 60. In the world of custom vans, a superior van is like no other. Because Cook and Reeves' superior van is like no other custom van dealer in the world. They carefully custom build each van, fully service every van they sell, maintain a million dollar inventory for your selection, with unique features and distinctive paint that make their vans truly superior. If you want a van like no other, you'll find it at Cook and Reeves Superior Van, like no other custom van dealer in the world. I have had the advantage in being in sports of attending eight straight Final Fours. I don't know of any other sports cast in the entire country that can say I've been to the World Series. We've had the MVP in the Super Bowl, Phil Sims from Louisville. I've covered the Kentucky Derby. I mean, what else could you possibly want out of a job? Experience is leadership. Leadership is Dave Conrad and Action 11 News. This is a McDonald's quarter pounder. It costs way over a dollar. This is Wendy's quarter pound single. It cost under a dollar and is made hot off the grill with your favorite fresh toppings. Now, McDonald's probably thinks that we're charging too little, and we think that they're charging too much. You know, this may be one of those rare instances when we're both right. The 99-cent quarter-pound single from Wendy's, the best burgers in the business. Just three ticks under the midway point in the second half, and Kentucky has spread into its biggest lead of the game, 73-60 Wildcats. Meanwhile, Florida State down moments ago, the last time we checked by 11, has climbed back to within one of Iowa in the second half playing in the West region. You know, Tom, we always talk about points in the paint, and how a team scores in the, in the paint. Let's look at it from another angle. Southern University has had 17 shots in the paint area around the basket. They've missed eight of them. Mike, is this racehorse basketball typified by Southern and by Loyola Marymount, the wave of the future in college basketball? You know, there's a lot of people looking at this style of basketball. It makes a lot of sense for a lot of basketball teams out there. It wouldn't surprise me at all to see this be maybe not the wave of the future, but something a lot of basketball teams give a shot next year. 
Southern turns it over. The players certainly like this style, don't they? It fits a lot of players, not just a few, but it fits a lot of players. It's something you can experiment with in preseason practice. If it doesn't work, go away and do something else. Come back to a half-court game. You could even start playing like that in December. Time to come away in January if it doesn't work. And Davender's having a big night. 24 points for Davender, and Kentucky's up 15. Wildcats have been able to deliver the knockout punch. And that's Rob Locke faked the charge. Rodney Washington just laid it in over the prone lock. Locke leads the Kentucky team in taking charges. Rodney Washington picked off the pass and tried to walk the tightrope of the 10-second line and went over into backcourt. There's it. Shooting this half, Kentucky's missed only five shots, 11 of 16, and Southern is 9 of 25. Coach Jove said if you get 93 shots a game, even if you hit a lower percentage, you got a chance to win. That's not going to be the case tonight unless something drastic happens. He was not counting on Kentucky shooting a sensational percentage and getting such high percentage shots, the dunks, the layouts. Or a wide open three-pointer. Three. Well, Tom, if you can't get out on the dunk, why not pull out and shoot a three-pointer, huh? Lock rebounds. Lead pass Davender all alone. He laid it in. Kentucky blowing it open now. The Wildcats up 80-62. Coach Ben Jove over the sidelines, signaling his team to settle down, take their time. Another steal. Gatman is fouled. No, they call it for double dribble. Florent was running into him if he double dribbled it. Was he was being buffeted around, says Eddie Sutton. I'll tell you what, that was a call that not many people in this arena went for. Garner, number 32, back in the game for the Jaguars of Southern. Kevin Florent has also come in. Now Iowa with a little spurt of its own, back up four on the Seminoles of Florida State. Talk about spurts, Tom. Georgetown up two on LSU. Talk about spurts. Kentucky on a 16-2 run in the last three and a half minutes. They have an 18-point lead. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Kentucky's starting guards, Chapman and Davender, have been spectacular tonight. Let's go, let's go, let's go. At both ends of the floor. Florent leans in, gets the good roll. Kevin Florent playing with four fouls. Now with 16 in the game. He's been in foul trouble almost all the way. Manuel having trouble getting the ball in against the Southern pressure defense. Calls for a timeout. It comes with 7.34 left in the game. And Ben Job and the Jaguars trying to fight uphill against an 80-64 deficit. We want to see your face, we want to sit you down, want you to like our place and have a look around. We want to see you like the little things we do. We want to see you love the way we do seafood. We want to see you eat, see you stay a while. Because when you leave, we want to see you smile. And Long John Silvers, we want to see you happy. You hear the thunder, the call of the road No time to wonder, you gotta go You feel excitement, yeah Hey, Pontiac Get on your Pontiac and ride Pontiac ride Drive. See the Pontiac Crows of Kentuckiana Cross, Green Tree, Brinkhouse, Browning, Harden Motors, Sam Swope it's the postseason, and that means that spring is just around the corner. I have my game plan, and it's time you make your game plan for spring with H&S Hardware. Right now at H&S Hardware, you can buy Ace Tone Latex Flat Wall Paint featuring eight-year durability, one-coat coverage, and no-charge custom colors for just $9.99 a gallon. H&S Hardware, the only game plan for your spring projects, your complete savings and lawn headquarters. Kentucky with an 80-64 lead on Southern with 7.34 showing on the clock in this opening round NCAA Southeast Region game in Cincinnati. Southern Jaguars trying to marshal their forces for one last charge. 
they would like to get on a spurt that Kentucky has been on. That 16-2 run the last three and a half minutes. Southern can, can turn that around and make it their run. Ben Job looking for his first NCAA win at Southern. And Eddie Sutton, his team lost to Ohio State in the opening round last year. Xavier and Kansas are underway, and the Jayhawks with a big early lead. Full court pressure. We're going to trap at the mid-court line if possible. Kentucky in its half-court offense. Southern back in a 2-3 zone, matching up. Chapman has another three-pointer. Three-point field goal. 23 points for Chapman, 26 for Davenden. Lauren missed the tap in. Johnson gives it back to him, and this time he makes sure. That was a nice pass by Johnson. Finding the open man under the hoop, Kevin Florent. That was an excellent pass. Florent was 16, Battles was 16 for the Jaguars. 83-66 the count. Stolen by Southern. Three-point shot, good! Patrick Garner. Well, on the year, they shoot 34% from the three-point line. If they can utilize that three-pointer to bring them back in the ball game. Eddie Sutton doing a little coaching, sends Rob Locke back into the game. Almost another Wildcat turnover, but they'll have it as Jenkins goes out. Ed Dabner right now with 26 points. 27 is his season high against Tennessee. Look for him to get back into this offense, particularly if they pick the tempo up and really push it up and down the floor. Manuel and Chapman at long range. Here's Locke. Stripped away and stolen by Southern. Florin in against Chapman. No good. Florin has the rebound. Turns and sticks it through. Basket by Kevin Defensively, Southern has got some quick hands, creating that steal down in the paint. Stole the ball from Rob Locke. And Battles pulls up lame. The way he's pulling his toe, it looks like he might have a cramp in his calf. This is the kind of pace that'll give you cramps. Tell you what, if you can't run, you don't belong on this floor. It's up and down. 83-71. Southern will not give up. Did a good job that time. Three other guys were back, cutting off Chapman with the ball. Kentucky had been able to get out on the break and score that way. Good adjustment. Good job of getting back from offense to defense by Southern University. Rex Chapman has hit 10 of 13 from the floor tonight. Bennett. Undercut and a foul. The basket will count by Bennett. And the foul on Rodney Washington is third. Nice pass from the wing, from Davender. Nice speed, Bennett. Good body control. You'll see Washington get him with the body. Washington a little late getting there. Gives Winston Bennett a small nudge. Bennett, who is working on his master's degree. That was sitting out last year with reconstructed knee surgery. Chapman blocks the shot by Garner and pulls it down for the Wildcats. And then Garner fouls trying for the steal. Seemed to be a foul of frustration. Garner did not know where Rex Chapman was at. He turned, didn't realize Chapman was in front of him. I don't believe he really knows that Rex is that close. All ball with the block. Foul of frustration. Sixteen fouls now against Southern. That's the score. Davender. He got two more. Twenty-eight for Ed Davender. That's his season's high. Out of bounds off the hand of Daryl Battles. And Southern has turned it over. Avery Johnson, who's averaging 13 assists a game, tried to get one there. And tonight he has eight assists so far in the contest. That pass had a little too much on it. Look at Manuel thread his way through traffic and then missed the layup. Pushing foul on Bennett on the offensive board. 
That'll be the fourth foul on Bennett. I'll tell you, Winston Bennett has come alive offensively in the last five minutes, Tom. He's been all over the floor. Got some nice, easy shots. Showed us some tremendous effort. Right here, he shows you what going after a second shot is all about. Look at him come out of nowhere. Great effort. A circus shot that almost went through. He's fouled by Locke. Hey, that would have been a beauty if that went in. An underhand driving scoop shot. Kevin Florent closing in on his average of 21 a game. He has 19 and will go to the line. That belongs in the NBA. Maybe someday that young man will take it there. I said he had 19. He has 18 as he goes to the free throw line. And still at 18. That's Kevin Florent on the line. There's the Southern bench. They certainly weren't awed by the tradition and the ranking of Kentucky. In fact, a great line yesterday as the free throw goes through. Avery Johnson, when he was asked if he heard or saw the big crowd that came to watch Kentucky practice yesterday, he said, did, did you see the big crowd here? Were you bothered by it? He said, no, we didn't see it. We were back in the room doing something constructive. <laughs> they were great. They handled that interview yesterday superbly. They made a jest of their situation. They made jest of Kentucky all in a great way. Really some class kids. In fact, their coach, Ben Job said he really hadn't followed Kentucky. He really wasn't a fan. He didn't realize they were ranked sixth in the nation. He didn't seem to care for that matter. Oh, he's special. This guy is a, is a coach's coach, Ben Job. Had a few battles with the media. Well, name me a coach who has it. Davender, three-pointer, missed everything. But right to Manuel, who lays it in. Manuel has that ability to be in the right place at the right time. And Southern strikes quickly again as Daryl Battles gets the jam. Avery Johnson has that ability to deliver the ball at the right time. What a passer he is. 90-74. Kentucky only averages 78.8 a game. They already have 90 with just under four minutes left. Final score, Iowa wins it over Florida State, 102-98. Kentucky trying to milk this clock, trying to get Southern to come out of their zone, match up in a man-to-man -man situation, and then they'll just turn it over, take a little time off the clock. Chapman, nice pass, Madison jams. Well, that's why he's such a threat, Tom. When he goes up, you think he's going to shoot, and then he drills that pass. Chapman has hit 10 of 13 from the field. He also has five assists and six rebounds. How can you play any better? <laughs> you can. He's had a special game tonight. Davener comes off the board with it and starts the break. Chapman tried to pass it back to Davener. Some legs got in the way. Chapman still fighting for it, and Garner ties him up. is called. The arrow favoring Kentucky. Chapman scrapping on the floor. He's been sensational since he broke that bone in his back, a transverse process, on February 24th. He's hit double figures now for the 45th straight game. We've got a timeout with 3.06 left. Kentucky leading 92-74. Doesn't it seem that what passes for service at most fast food restaurants is more like a comedy of errors? Boy, if I hadn't ducked, we'd have collided sure. What a narrow escape. At Druthers, we take your visit a bit more seriously with good food and friendly, efficient service. It makes a meal at Druthers more like a visit with friends than a test of your endurance. And it's why no place else feels like Druthers. Procrastination has shot many a fine idea in the foot. A put-it-off attitude won't get the job done. Complete the American Life application in your Sunday paper and mail it to us today. Be different. Be wise. Be insured. Want a better-looking lawn and garden? Then before you start, make a stop at Levy's. Greenview Crabicide Green is the crabgrass preventer and lawn fertilizer. Get it at Levy's for just $9.98 after rebate. And look to Levy's for Lawn Boy Moors with powerful two-cycle engine and rear bagger, only $2.89. You save $80. After all, this stuff doesn't grow on. Whether you're fixing it or growing it, Levy's helps you do it right. Kentucky 
Phillies equal its biggest lead. The Wildcats up 92-74 with 3.06 left. And Rex Chapman having a sensational game. He can pass as well as shoot. This is an example of why he's so tough to guard. You get out on him, the defender thinks he's going to shoot. He finds Richard Madison wide open. He is so tough to guard because he can do so many things. Five assists, six rebounds. He's also scored 23 points and has missed only three shots all night. And he has stirred up the crowd with five, six spectacular dunks. And his backcourt running mate, Ed Davender, has hit 12 of 16. He's only missed four shots. And he has uh, one assist and four rebounds. And a new season high for Ed Davender of 28 points. Well, they've been touted as one of the strongest backcourts in college basketball. They lived up to the billing tonight. And then some. Chapman to Davender. He's hammered in there. Foul will be on Daryl Battles, his third foul. So with 2.42 remaining, Davender will go to the line and try for a 30-point night. Davender takes it right at the defender, uses a little clutch move, draws the foul. Boy, does he get hammered. Knocked his goggles loose. The big guys inside for Southern sending him a very subtle message that, hey, this is big man's territory. You little guys don't need to come in here. Davender is perfect in three free throw attempts tonight. How many people think Winston Bennett's the key to this ball club? And back at about the eight minute mark when Kentucky made their run, Winston Bennett really got involved in that offense. He got some putbacks, he got some cheap baskets, got some big rebounds. So he was a major factor in that run at that point. Here's Sean Sutton, Eddie Sutton's son, replacing Eddie Davender. He gets a tremendous hand from the many Kentucky faithful on hand here in Cincinnati. Mr. Wildcat, Bill Kitely, the equipment manager, gives him a hug. Florent, rainbow, ah. three-point oh. attempt, no good. Put in on the rebound by Battles. Battles has 20 points tonight. It's 94-76. Battles has been a factor inside. He stayed after it. He's not quitting now, even with two minutes to go. Sutton has it picked off. Battles intercepts. Avery Johnson hits Garner. No good. Madison skies for the rebound. Sutton dribbles into front court. There was Darryl Battles again trying to contest that pass. That young man has really shown me something tonight. He's been right in all the action. 94-76, lock wide open, lays it in. Good pass from this. 96-76, 20-point lead is Kentucky's biggest. Don't be fooled, though. The Jaguars of Southern were in the game almost all the way. Florence with a three-pointer. Southern could have got a few of their shots to go down on the half-court offense time. Either in the first half or early in the second half, this game would be different right now. Kentucky accepted the challenge of the up-tempo game. Lock misses right underneath on the second try and missed again. And he just stops and hangs his head. Florent, same spot, same result. Kevin Florent with 25. Putting on a shooting exhibition of his own. 96-82, just over a minute to play. Kentucky will move into the second round and face Maryland here Sunday afternoon. Madison lost it. Lock, foul. He'll get a chance to score at the free throw line. Slams the ball around in frustration. Rob Lock has had a tough time inside there the last two times down court. Ed Davender, career high 30 points tonight to lead all scorers. He's got to be thinking about the Maryland Turpins right now. You mean they can't even savor this victory? Well, at this point, when you think about those players at Maryland, they're back thinking about Kentucky. Ed Davner's thinking about Maryland. You're right now at the stretch drive of your career, Tom, and you know exactly who you're playing next. Rex Chapman goes to the bench with 23 points, and again, we document the game he had. 10 of 13 shooting, one of one at the line, six rebounds and five assists. 
Fox misses two. Things have gone sour for him in a hurry. Well, he's had a tough one here in the second half. Floyd can't handle it, and Sutton comes the other way. He gives it up to Ryan Jones, who's in the game. And the shot is good by Bobby Ray Fields, who also has come in for the Jaguars. Reggie Hansen, 6'8 freshman, is in the game for Kentucky. 30 seconds left. Kentucky on the night has hit 66% of its shots from the floor. And they've scored every way conceivable. Dunks, fast breaks, layups, three-point plays. Hansen saves the Sutton pass, excuse me, Manuel does. Eight seconds left, you see the clock. Rob, again, he still can't get a slam. I think maybe Rob uh, ought to give up on that shot right now and try to come back with it on Sunday, huh? Locke plays hard, he's a blue-collar player. He's hit double figures for the tenth time in his last 14 games. There's the first SEC team to go to defeat as Georgetown wins by three over the Tigers of LSU. Also from Baton Rouge, as is this Southern team. So the city of Baton Rouge, who had two teams in the tournament, about to be 0 for 2. And the SEC losing their first team to a defeat in the NCAA. After Vanderbilt, Auburn, and Florida, and apparently Kentucky have gone to victory. I say apparently, there's only six seconds left. <laughs> Safely say Kentucky's going to win. Kentucky will really need this young man to have a big game on Sunday. They cannot afford him to have another slow start and stumble around against Maryland. They really need him. So the Kentucky Wildcats advance to the second round to beat Maryland on Sunday afternoon. They never trailed in the game, but had a tough time putting away the Jaguars of Southern, just breaking it open in the final five or six minutes. Final 